Hi everyone, it's Anne here, Kerry's mum. Um, what I've got for you today is what I call fried fabric. And you're going to need a few things. One is a metal tray. Uh, the other is one of these um, electric uh, paint strippers. If you haven't got one yourself, I suggest you, you get one because they're a great tool. But you, your man might have one in the shed you can borrow. And you need some synthetic fabric. I've got this blue here so you can see... Uh, for the camera it shows up better in this shade of blue and you won't hear me when I switch this on so just just actually watch what happens um, you'll also need a skewer uh, and and then we'll uh, we'll talk about it after so I'll just go switch this on you need it on its uh, lowest setting in terms of how much air it blows out but the the hottest setting in the the temperature of the gun so if it's got one or two settings you have one for the air and two for the heat. Okay, off we go. Okay, now do make sure you do this in a well ventilated area or preferably outside. And what we have when we turn it over is this lovely bubbly effect. It's almost like a reptile skin. And it's still quite uh, pliable so you can still stitch it on your sewing machine uh, if that's what you want to do. And you can paint over it um, and, and get some really interesting effects. I'm going to make a book later which I'll cover this with and show you how it looks when it's painted. Um, while I've got you, I'll just show you another couple of things you can do. Um, if you use something metal or something that won't burn a tile or a, a tin, I've got a tin of beans here, it won't hurt the beans, um, you can use that as a resist so you end up with a patch uh, that's not being bubbled. Just watch and you'll see what happens. You see that patch in the middle? I've actually gone too far here and we've got a hole. That might be in some cases what you want to achieve, which I was going to show you how to do lace next. But um, you just get a patch, whatever shape your metal or your resist was, where you can place a photograph or, here's a better one, um, something that you want to um, not, not have bubbly. Okay, now just... Um, while I've got it all set up. If you do keep going, as I say, it will it will burn. Don't don't set yourself or your place on fire. You get this lacy effect, put that underneath, which may be something else that you want to um, to play with. You can, you can have all sorts of effects with that. So just a couple of ideas about frying fabric, but please do be careful and I'm sure those fumes aren't good for you. So have fun. Thank you.